I'm on my way to a homeowner's house who's written me about a granite post. Now, historically, granite posts were used for marking property, hitching your horse, or even fence posting. Today, we still use them as markers, but we'll also use them as a mailbox, uh, and we use them mainly for decorative purposes. I happen to love them very much because they're stone. Hey Victor, how you doing? I'm great, how are you? Alright, great, thanks for having me out. I mean, I love this place. It's a real live working farm. I mean, chickens all over the place. I just heard a rooster. You got these horses over here. I mean, this is great. Yeah, well first of all, thank you so much for coming out. My um, pleasure. So yeah, uh, we're not exactly sure how old the property is. We think 1800s, our household carriage barn, okay, and there's nice. stables over there uh, that are original. Uh, gradually, like everything, it got subdivided. My parents uh, bought it about four years ago. I've been managing it for about 10. So we board other people's horses, and we have the chickens. We sell our eggs in town. All right, that's all great. Now, when I drove in, I saw this beautiful granite post. Yeah. Right out front. Yeah, so uh, a couple years back, uh, we'd always seen this thing lying down in the brush down there. And I had an excavator here doing some work anyway, so I asked him to pluck it up. It turned out it was a nice kind of square post. So oh, yeah. We put it in our front entry um, entryway island here. So why don't we go check it out? That'd be awesome. Thanks. All right, let's go. All right, Victor, so this is the post. Yes, it is. All right, looks great. I love it. So how'd you get it in here? Yeah, so I have a small tractor, and a friend of mine and, and me brought it over here, uh, dug about three feet down, uh, tried to make it kind of plumb and level, and uh, packed the base of Crusher Run. Okay, well, you did a great job, and I'm glad to hear that you did the Crusher Run. Some people would tend to put cement in here, which I don't like, because if it does get hit by a plow or a car, it's going to snap. If you have the Crusher Run and it gets hit, it's just going to be knocked over. We pick it up, we put it back into place. So, nice. all right, well, more good news. I think this post is actually original to the property, and there's a couple reasons why. Wow. Yep, well, you see this notch right here and this one and this one? Mm -hmm. That is for feather and wedge placement, so that's what splits the granite. If I were to do it today, I would use a drill, and these notches would be much deeper into the stone which make for an easier break. But back then when they did it by hand, they just went in as much as they had to and then they would split the stone. I know you had something specific in what you wanted to do with it. Yeah, so uh, we have a problem on the street. Uh, occasionally when I have visitors, we're giving a tour of the farm or something, they'll blow right past. They okay. don't even know there's a farm here. Um, we do have this older sign uh, that we think is also original to the property. Right. But it's kind of lost on this tree. Um, and we don't really have good street numbering either. Okay. So. Okay, so that sign actually would probably mount perfectly on the front side of this post, which is lucky oh, for us. Yeah. yeah, and putting numbers in shouldn't be too hard. I actually have the tools in my truck, so if you can take this sign down with a ladder and a screw gun, I'll get the tools that we connect the numbers into and we can get going. All right, okay, Victor, so what I've done here is this is an erratic line, as you know. So what I did was I found the plumbness of it. I went over, I got the levelness of it. That helped me with my center point, which is right here. I'm gonna take that and use that as my screw hole for the sign. So the sign will look like, just like that. That's great. Right there. The only problem I have is the sign is leaning down. So what I'm gonna have to do is go into the stone, hog it out a little bit so the sign sits more into the stone itself. It. And that will give me a level look. Great. All right, so we're going to have to use some hand tools and maybe a grinder to get that out, but I'm probably going to trace the sign and get going on that. And if you don't mind giving me a hold right there, Victor. Yeah. I'm looking right in. Okay, now we're all marked out, Victor. You're going to need those glasses. You're going to need that air protection. I'm going to use my own. We're going to uh, use the grinder, and we're going to start here and here, and we're going to take out these humps. And again, that's going to allow the sign to sit back to where it's supposed to be. Be advised, we may have a little dust, but that's what the HEPAVAC is for.
sign. Okay, Victor, if you could hold me into place. Okay, go up in the end. Okay. A little bit more? Yep. A little bit more. All right, Victor, I think we're good. We're seated where we want it to be. We can, you know, level and plumb this up a little bit better once we have the screws in. But you know the old stuff. You never get it exactly perfect, but you do have to keep working it. Yeah, it's been repaired before here. It's been soldered, so it may not even be a right angle. Right. Okay. So, Victor, you see what I'm doing? I put a little silicone. I was wondering how you're going to figure out. Yeah. On the top of my bit. That's where I want my hole. Again, the same trick, a little bit of silicone. Right in. Let's go pretty well lined up in the top. Okay. So we're lined up there, and you know what I'm gonna do, Victor? I'm gonna take this bit. I'm going to find yeah, let me. where we are, there, now. All right. Nice. Pull this out? Yep. All right, we're pretty snug right there, Victor. What do you think of that? Uh, I love it. I mean, it's so much better than up on the tree. All right, so why don't we, uh, why don't we get set up to etch in the numbers? Perfect. All right, and I'm gonna use some stencils for those. As you can see, I taped a couple together, um, and I love the way they look vertically, so I'm gonna go up and down like that, but I'm probably gonna go to my high point, which is the top of the stone. I'm gonna measure down to the top of the sign, uh, that looks about 10 or 11 inches to me right now. I'll take that number, go to the bottom of the sign, and come down, and that's where we'll start our letters. Got it. Um, I have an etching machine, which I love to use because it lets me trace these stencils out perfectly, and I think you're going to love it when I'm done. Yeah, that sounds great. All right, let's get going. Nine and a half. Okay, let's call it nine and a half. Okay, so that's the top of our first stencil. Yeah, I was matching that that distance from the top uh, to the top of the sign and making it the same in between the numbers in the sign, is that uh, a proportionality thing or is it? Well, masons are always plumb and level and we just want to make sure everything is easy on the eye and makes sense to the eye, so. So Victor, what I'm doing here is I'm using a Dremel tool and again, that allows me to gouge out these numbers the way we did. It just lets us take out small pieces at a time. All right, Victor, what do you think? Uh, it looks incredible. All right, well, we got the sign in the right spot, the address number's right below it, so no confusion. Yeah, it's great. People will finally know where they're coming to when they pull up. Right. Uh, is there anything I need to do maintenance upkeep-wise? You know what? Mother Nature is going to be our friend. She's going to weather those numbers a little bit, and after a couple years, it'll look like it's been here for 200 years. That's what I wanted to hear. All right.
Mark, thank you so much. We really appreciate it. All right, Victor. And if you have questions about your house, we'd love to hear from you, so keep them coming. Until then, I'm Mark McCullough for Ask This Old House. Man, this looks really came great. Out great. Yeah. yeah, I can't believe it. A little bit of weathering. Those numbers will fade a bit. Everything will be great. Thanks for watching. This old house has got a video for just about every home improvement project, so be sure to check out the others. And if you like what you see, click on the subscribe button. Make sure that you get our newest videos right in your feed.